shorts. With the holidays in full swing, people all over the country need their packages, now more than ever. And the three of you have landed jobs at the United States Postal Service. Roll for your positions. 16. 10. 13. Waylon, you and Sarah will be clerks. Lance, you're a mail carrier. Oh yeah. Time to rock the three S's. Shorts, shades, safari hat. Yeah, we'll get to that. Sarah, you and Waylon have both been at the office since 3 a.m., sorting and arriving an avalanche of packages. <sighs> Why can't people just buy stuff at the store? Because, Sarah, internet shopping is the perfect marriage of laziness and instant gratification. And we suffer those consequences. As you finish sorting the regular packages, you realize that Amazon is running late. Your supervisor, Scott, approaches and instructs you to give the mail carriers what you have so that they can start casing their mail. Where's the rest of it? Amazon's running late. Seriously? That's gonna mess up my whole day. Merry fucking Christmas. Another supervisor named Scott approaches and says, if they're not here by 8.30, you can leave and we'll figure something out. At 8.28, you hear the buzzer for the back door. Is it them? It better be. Waylon, when you open the back door, you see a young male. He's dressed like a local street tough. As you and Sarah ready your pallet jacks, he enters and says, Sorry I'm late. I got the munchies and stopped at Denny's for a grand slam. I hope you're proud of yourself. I want your supervisor's name and phone number. You were supposed to be here hours ago. Waylon, upon opening the bay door, you discover that the Amazon truck is already open, and tons of packages are scattered all over the floor. Uh, is this normal? Actually, the driver looks worried. Oh, wait. This isn't right. Uh, where's my pallet jack? This idiot's no help. Just grab what you can so we can scan it. Give me will saves. 14. 17. You successfully complete sorting the Amazon packages without completely losing your mind. It's time for your next assignments, but first, Lance, your LLV has been loaded and is ready to go. LLV? What's an LLV? Uh, it stands for a Long Life Vehicle. It's what they call the mail delivery truck. How do you know all this stuff anyway? Did you work for the post office and not tell us or something? No, but I know a guy who does. Your first delivery is for an urgent care center in a small strip mall. I guess I go deliver the mail? This is pretty easy. When you enter, you notice an attractive receptionist. Well, hello there. I'm your new postman. What's your name? She smiles and hands you a stack of return mail, but almost instantly drops it and says, Holy sheeps. She's looking out the window. Uh, what do I see? Your LLV is rolling backwards through the parking lot. Oh, uh, sh**. Um, I run up next to it and try to jump in? Give me a dex check. Five. You fall and dislocate your arm. Take six damage and you're stunned for the next 15 seconds. Your LLV continues to roll in almost a perfect circle before crashing into a parked Jeep. Oh, this is bad. Both vehicles are badly damaged. In fact, the receptionist you were trying to flirt with earlier has now stepped outside and has her hands cupped over her mouth, screaming, My car! You ruined my car! I'm gonna call my supervisor. Sarah, you've been given the task of operating the window while Waylon will be delivering P.O. boxes with Scott the clerk. Sarah, as you open the gate for the window, you see a woman who's waiting. She seems impatient. Good morning, ma'am. How can I help you? Well, I was expecting a package yesterday. I got a notification that said it was left on my front porch, but I never received it. Well, I can take down your address and see if it was misscanned or left there. Waylon, you and Scott the clerk start delivering the P.O. boxes. How much we gotta do? About 6,000 letters, 400 magazines, 800 catalogs, and 70 packages for 1,500 P.O. boxes. Approximately. And how long do we have to do this? Uptime is in half an hour. Well, uh, I just received some mail. And it says, hold on. That's impossible. Sarah, you didn't find the lady's package. Okay, ma'am. Do you have the tracking number? Why would I have the tracking number? Well, I will need that information to file a missing parcel report. She rolls her eyes and starts looking through her phone. Postmaster Scott pulls Clerk Scott to the window to help with the customers behind her. Waylon, you're on your own. Thanks. She finds the order with the tracking number and hands you her phone. I got a 17 on my investigate check. The tracking number starts with a 1Z, so you know that it's a UPS tracking number. Okay, ma'am. It looks like UPS is the one who made this delivery. So you won't help me. Is that what I'm hearing? Unfortunately, I can't. 
You'll have to contact UPS directly. I can look up the nearest location well, why for didn't you. you just tell me that in the first place? Ugh, what a waste of my tax dollars. We're self-funded. We don't take... She kicks over a box of packing peanuts and leaves. In any tax revenue. Lance Postmaster Scott wants to know if you had the LLV parking brake engaged. Uh, no, I did not. Oh, then you're responsible for all the damage. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave my shirt on the seat and call it a day. Postmaster Scott hangs up and announces, Mail Carrier Meltzer has tendered his resignation. If he's quitting, I'm quitting. This job is garbage. Waylon, I'm out of here. Oh, good. Wait for me. Uh, just out of curiosity, how much of that mail did I finish? Roll a perform check. 20. 11%. Merry f***ing Christmas. My thoughts exactly. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and happy new year. See you in 2020. I'm a North Barbarian, pay no attention to the skulls I'm carrying. Spend all damn night looking for a good fight. Anybody want to step up on sight, I'll bury him. I put the party on my back, and that's not bragging, homie, that's fact. I got a great axe, and I'm ready to attack. I never lay back, no time to relax. Look, everybody always want to come for me, until they understand that they can't run for me. As you can see, it's fun for me, because there ain't nothing you could do that ain't already been done to me. Man, I'm